Hello, English 100 class. This is your short video for week 10 class on taking notes for our new book, which is Educated. So first, here's the book, Educated by Tara Westover. I hope you guys all have the book. Um, we do start reading it right away as soon as we finish the final draft of Essay 2. And you'll have a bunch of reading due Friday of week 11. So here's the book. These are my notes. I have 15 or 20 pages of notes that I took on the book. I did my notes in January to get ready. So here they are. However, since our class is now online, you will submit your notes online. So a few things about how it's going to work. So here you can see on the screen our Canvas page. And let's start by going to the What's the Homework module. So this is your spot for getting the homework, same as all semester. And you always want to do the homework before you do the class stuff. So here's the, the week 11 assignments right here. And right above what's the homework, we have a module for our new book, Educated. And you can see there's an overview of the unit here. Um, you can see here's the essay, which you don't need to worry about yet. And then this is the notes document. And you're going to hand in the notes once a week. And you're going to hand them in right here in this module, the Unit 2 Educated module. So you will see a spot to hand in the notes every week. And they will be due every Friday at 8 a.m. So basically, you need to finish the homework by Thursday night. And then the class stuff will be due on Friday. So that will be our weekly rhythm. So let me show you the notes form. So you have to put your notes in this form. So when you go to Canvas, you want to click this button here, Download, and you want to save it as a document. And then you're going to put your notes in it. So you're going to have one document that you keep on saving for the whole book. And every week you'll submit the notes you have so far. Okay, so for example, for, for the first week, we're reading up to page 83, and so you can see that'll take you up to here, chapter 8. So you're going to put stuff in the boxes as your notes. You don't have to put a lot in each box, but you do have to take notes for every chapter in these boxes. You'll submit in Canvas, and I'll give you credit for it. So that will be how we'll do the notes check. So you can see on the left, I have the chapter and page numbers put in there for you. And for the prologue, pages XIII to XV, um, at the very beginning of the book, I did notes for you as kind of a sample. So I recommend that you use bullet points. Um, you must put in page numbers every time you take a note. You won't get credit if you don't do page numbers. You really just must do it. So um, you can see I have page numbers in here. Starting with chapter 1, pages 3 to 12, it'll be regular numbers and not those prologue numbers. So um, <clears throat> in this column, you'll put in important events. So you don't have to write down everything that happens in the book, just things you think are important. And you write it down very briefly. So for each chapter, you won't write very much but you'll write down the big things that happen. Okay, so there's my note for events in the prologue. Not much happens in, in the prologue, so it's short. Uh, the second column is interesting details about characters. So in, in the prologue, we learn that Tara is age seven, there's dad, there's brothers and a mother, and that's it. We don't get that much. 
And then I chose one detail about dad that I thought was interesting. So you have to be thinking about what you think is important about those characters, and you're going to write down interesting details. So I wrote down for the prologue, dad is worried that the government will make them attend school. And I thought that was interesting because most dads don't say that. And so dad is kind of an unusual guy. So I wrote it down and I put page number in parentheses as usual. On the right, this category is beyond research topics, interesting questions, and the big themes. So over here, you're going to put your thinking and questions about the book. So I wrote down for the prologue, why don't they go to school or have birth certificates? I thought that was interesting, so I wrote down as a question. And then I did put a tiny little quote here, eternity belonged only to the mountain. And then I wrote, wow, is the mountain a symbol of something? So over here, at least one research topic, something you want to look up, an interesting question about what's going on, or some big theme or big idea, something you think is important. So this box is your thinking. So to summarize, for each chapter, you'll write down important events, something about the characters, and then something about your thinking about what's going on in that chapter. Make sure to put your name up here, and then of course you will submit this document every week in Canvas to show me that you did the reading and took the notes. Again, you must put page numbers in parentheses and you won't get credit if you move. And let's go back to Canvas. So again, here's, here's our new book, Educated. Um, I think this book is great. That's why I'm asking you to read it. I hope you like it too. And um, we get started on reading our new book this week. So before I finish my video, a um, couple more reminders. Make sure to always click on the announcements when you go to Canvas. So here's my announcement for week 10 class. So make sure to read those carefully. And again, you're always going to do the assignments first, then the class stuff. And the class stuff will always appear at the top. So you can see that week 10 class is now posted. And so if you haven't done these yet, you will, um, the first document is always your to-do list, and then you have the other activities. Okay, so with that, I'll show you the book one more time. I hope you like reading it, and I'll see you in class.